let's get on with this show now talk about the cover coaching initiative what is it all about but this guy is already making some tremendous achievement in terms of our training coaches and a, a, a platform towards discovering and nurturing young talents. Joining us now in the studio, Executive Director of Search and Groom. You know him so well. Talk about grassroots football development. Yomi Kuku is here with us. And of course, um, football enthusiast Ola Adejube is here with us also. Good to have you guys on Sports Tonight. I'm glad to be here. Thank okay, you. okay. Let, let, me, let me begin with you, um, uh, Mr. Ola. The Kova Initiative, because uh, if you just hear it, most times all I know about it is just coaching. Is there anything more to it? Yes, we as a church, we are partnering with COVA because of other things that they are into in terms of sport development, identification of talent and developing such talent and then bringing their best out. Mm. That's why we are collaborating with them in the first place. It sounds good. So people get busy and then you, you get the numbers out of them. Uh, Mr. Yomi Kuku, uh, Mr. Search and Groom, this guy just does <laughs> search for them. He wants to groom them also. Uh, good to have you around. The COVA well, Initiative, talk to me about some of the um, achievements you guys have achieved. Uh, well, you know, COVA has been all over the world in 40 countries uh, for over 35 years. And they've succeeded in quite a number of them especially with Japan, uh, where they actually, you know, developed the game right from the grassroots to the top level. Mm. Uh, but in Nigeria, we started working with Covers since last year. Uh, the first 25 coaches were trained in Lagos last year, and um, we had about five of them coming from the Lagos FA, and about 10 of them coming from Nigeria community, which was um, supported by Honorable Mui Wajimo, you know. And, you know, all 25 are already working, discovering and working with young kids to develop their talents, uh, give them the opportunity of being able to uh, gain ball mastery and show more competence and respect for their opponents to cover. Uh, this year, we're collaborating with the international schools and also churches as well, where mm -hmm. Pastor Adijube comes from. And part of the idea is that um, Pastor Adijube's uh, church and their region, actually, they're working in area of using sports to work with young people uh, also. And we were able to identify this through a friend, mm. Shiyo Yebode, who mm. told me that this is quite possible. And when I approached him and he said, well, even the church has been working on trying to develop young coaches that can work with young people in communities with football. And for him, that becomes like a dream. Mm. So he was never having any second thought about doing this. And so I made a visit to him last week. You know, we signed up all the things that we're supposed to sign up, like autograph and all that, and it's promised that all the parishes in all the regions, I mean in the, uh, in the province, they're all going to be signing up coaches mm. to come to the event. Mm. And, um, you know, the good thing about this is that we have Lagos Preparatory School. The head teacher of Lagos Preparatory School, Mr. Nicholas Barrett, you know, he's extremely warm to this idea and has been able to mobilize some other head teachers mm. in the international school sector to be able to bring in coaches. And then for us to get to the point where from next year, or probably a year after, we can actually have this, um, uh, the syllabus of cover coaching being used as an extracurricular activities method in the schools. Mm. So for us, it's not just about you know, playing football, but also helping to develop young people who are able to show tolerance when they're playing, mm. you know, getting ball mastery, 1v1 situations, 2v1 situations, and other situations that you see in football. I mean, you watch the game. Uh, last weekend, and you saw what we were not able to do with mm, the ball. Mm. And that tells a story about the fact that we need to go back to the grassroots right. to do the right thing. And what is the right thing? Mm. To first and foremost empower, build the capacity of our coaches. When you don't build the capacity of your coaches and giving them the right method to be able to coach uh, children, they will end up not knowing the right things to be done mm. as they grow in the game. Mm. I mean, you could see that from the video. These are the things. It looks very small and detailed, and it could be boring, but at certain points, I can tell you that those are players that will come up and then they become best of players mm. in the future and you begin to wonder, wow, this is like It sounds like good magic. because, I mean, some of the things they learn at this stage, if they grow with it, it will stay with them. And I like the fact that uh, you said the church is involved. We have COD, the City of David, doing good things with their football. MFM as, as a team in top flight football. And um, Pastor, how important is it uh, for us to get the church involved in football development? Yes, thank you very much for that question. Uh, it might interest you to know that it is part and parcel of the plan of God for us to develop both physically, spiritually, and mentally. So after we have uh, introduced the gospel and we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, it is 
the mind of the church that we should also develop these people in other areas of their lives. So we go to sports centers on Sundays to do, you know, evangelism. We also go on the streets. We do church on the streets. And so we bring together all these talents. And therefore, after they have received Jesus Christ, we now invest in them, bring out their best. That's what we are doing by collaborating with Coeva, mm. you know, to train several of these people to become coaches so that they can take up responsible positions in various schools and organizations and at the same time develop other talents. It sounds good. You are, you are in one minute. Uh, tell me the program you're, you're going on next. Uh, well, Cover Coaching is coming to Nigeria for the second time. We're bringing our resource persons from Netherlands. Uh, the technical director of uh, Cover Netherlands is coming in, uh, Rani Verdens. He'll be training Nigerian coaches as well. And then the first leg of the training program starts uh, with the uh, Premier International School in Abuja. Uh, it's going to be starting on the 6th of uh, July till the 8th. And then the second leg will be in Lagos from the 10th till 12th of July. And so we're hoping that coaches can show interest in this. Um, wherever you are, if you're from the northern part of Nigeria, mm. Abuja is a central point. That's if right. you're from the southern part of Nigeria, Lagos is a very good central point. And so you can reach us and then speak with us. And for us, we are also using this opportunity to appeal to Nigerian coaches. You know, for them to see this opportunity, if they have to travel abroad, what is going to cost you will be much more than what you're thinking. Sure. Because taking this, bringing it to Nigeria pays you more. It's much uh, cost effective mm. and it's much easier for you mm. uh, and then affordable. So we want to appeal to them. This is the right time for you to embrace the right methods to be able to train kids. And then you can have superstars, right. like the super ego star that will be coming up later on the show. <laughs> okay. I won't say that. No, no, no. I must say that. I must say thank you. Thank you so much for coming. You're doing a great job. We'll monitor. And when, when it becomes a proper success story, thank you for we'll bring you back again. Thank you so thank much you. for coming. Thank you.